Hi everybody, this is your reading for Tuesday the 15th of December. Let's have a look at what's coming up for you today. First card is the Grail Hermit, and the Hermit is um, about introspection. This one is uh, writing in his journal there. He's got a fire, he's got a cute little um, thatched hut there. Um, and he's just kind of, you know, journaling his thoughts. He's being reflective. He's taking time for himself. No one is urging him to do anything. And there's a real sense of peace and spirituality about this man. So you feel very much in touch with your true self. You don't feel hustled and bustled by everything that's going on, by the speed in which life is kind of moving here. Um, and you feel a sense of inner peace and you feel a sense of protectedness. The Eight of Spears, the Eight of Wands here, represents, I mean, you can see the speed in that, and you can see kind of the way you're being pushed and moved forward. So think of yourself as this spear being kind of run along these rapids almost, and things are moving quickly. You know, we're ending the, we're coming close to the end of the year now. There'll be a lot to do. You'll have a lot on before the festive season. But don't worry, you have that real bubble sense of protection, of um, being at peace within yourself. So regardless of the speed of your life at the moment, you can maintain your peace of mind and you can do what you're meant to be doing. You can handle all the obligations that are on you. And then finally, we've got the Grail Queen here. So we've got Guinevere or um, what was the other one called? can't remember but basically the grail queen is the queen of cups and she represents emotional peace and harmony it's in reverse so if you let yourself get swept up in this there is potential for you to um, become a little bit rattled okay so earlier here we've seen the hermit kind of going into this day and really maintaining his sense of peace and all of those things if you don't kind of keep an eye on it, though, you can become a little bit unhappy and a little bit rattled by everything that's going on around you. So it's not that you have this uh, safe protection that you need do nothing for. You do have to kind of keep an eye on it and say, OK, what's more important that I get these presents bought or that I maintain my sense of peace, that I keep my peace of mind going. And that's a decision that will come up on this day. You know, that's not life or death. Either do I let myself get upset by everyone hustling and bustling me, or do I just step back and, and maintain my peace of mind? Either way, you know, life goes on. If you choose peace of mind, you'll feel good within yourself, you'll be calm. If you choose that, you'll get things done, but you might be a bit frazzled at the end of the day. It's no biggie, you know. Make the choice. Whatever, um, whatever you feel is more important in the moment, go for that. But then at the end of the day, if you do feel a little bit rattled, just take time to come back to your center, to kind of journal or to come back to your sense of peace through meditation or whatever it is you do to get that feeling back, okay? Nine and eight is 17 and one is 18. One and eight is nine and nine is about spirituality. So the key to feeling good on this day is spirituality and looking within and the, the key to feeling frazzled and a little bit out of sorts is looking externally um, and trying to get things done. Have a good day. If you'd like to have a personal reading with me then get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com and please remember to subscribe to the channel and have a great day.